procedure that uh, is affected by fibropapilloma. This is something we've been dealing with for over 25 years. This is a particularly bad case. She's got large tumors all over her, uh, all the way down her body. But the biggest problem is she's got them on her eyes. This uh, left eye looks completely taken over by the tumor. The right eye is off the lid. We might be able to save the right eye. The left eye doesn't look very good. But it's really sad that Mother Nature would do this to these animals. That's a bit sad. So that's what the turtle hospital is here for. Uh, first thing we're going to do is dip her in some fresh water, get her some antibiotics in her. And when we put her in fresh water, the parasites will kill all these leeches. Let her soak and then get the yeah. deep stuff off. A lot of times when they come in with this many tumors, they're so debilitated mm -hmm. that they don't have this kind of strength. We couldn't possibly put them in water right away. Mm -hmm. So as, as horrific as she looks with those tumors, we have hope that she has a body weight and hopefully a good blood chemistry and we can get to work on getting those tumors off right away. We got seven sea turtles and we're going in to see the doctor. We brought Hook, Jack, Augustus, Chris, and Emerald for follow-up examinations. And we brought Kaye and Jared for their first tumor removal surgery on their eyes. Well, the, the reason that we're doing this now is that this problem with the turtles had, was first recorded back in the 1930s. Um, I became involved in the project in the 1980s, uh, working with people at the Marathon Turtle Hospital before it was a turtle hospital. Um, and we would surgically remove the tumors that were causing the turtles not to see. Um, and the problem was that in a few weeks to a few months, most of them grew back and the turtles were still not releasable. Uh, continuing to do the same thing, there have been other surgeries with laser, using freezing techniques, everything to try and stop the tumor regrowth, and we haven't found anything so far that's been successful. Um, so the attempt now is to try sort of a local chemotherapy, um, so we have an, an anti-metabolite that's being made as an eye drop so that we can do the surgery to remove the tissue and then use a drug as opposed to something physical to try and get rid of the last cells. Okay, this is Hook and Hook came in December, December 6th to meet Dr. Kapinski for the first time and received injections of the 5-FU. We're seeing some good results and he's going to get injections again today. What do you think, Hook? <laughs> If it buys me a ticket to the ocean, I'm there. <laughs> okay. Basically what we're going to try and do is find the base of the tumor and remove as much of the tumor as we possibly can at surgery today. Uh, we're going to try and spare the cornea, the surface of the eye that we would like to remain clear. Um, and but take away as much of the tissue that's infiltrated with this tumor. <laughs> so loud. She has a strong heart. The hope is with the removal of the fibropapilloma tumors and the 5-FU, the anti-cancer treatment, that the tumors will not regrow these sea turtles will be restored to sight and released back to the ocean.